Hey, it's May 15th, 2010, and um, right now, I'm scrapbooking, again. I'm on a bit of a scrapbooking kick right now, um, and Chrissy's probably going to be really mad at me just because I was like, oh yeah, we'll scrapbook together, because she has all these pictures to scrapbook, but I've been kind of on top of mine. Um, and if I finish all mine, she's going to have all this stuff to do, and I won't. But I won't finish all of mine. I will make sure I save a few so that we can at least do a little bit together. It's more fun to scrapbook in pairs or in groups. You can ask each other's advice, and you can borrow stuff, you know, if you don't have something that you need, which is good. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm scrapbooking Easter. Um, that's the only other thing I've done since last night when I talked about it. Um, and um, nothing really interesting happened today. Um, I went to the mall and Walmart with Chrissy and Katie, and then I went out for a little while with my parents. Uh, my mom has a party to go to tomorrow um, at the Middlebury Racket Club, and she didn't know how to get there or like where it was or anything, so we took a ride up there just so we could see where it was. It was really easy to find. Um, and then we went out to dinner. We were going to go to Denmo's in Southbury, so we drove down there, but when we got there, there were so many people, and the line was so long, so we turned around, and because it was, we didn't want to wait that long, it was, like, already, like, 7.30, we were, like, super hungry, and we didn't want to wait, um, because it wasn't super nice out, like, if it was really, like, nice and warm out, it would have been fine, but it was starting to get cold, so we didn't feel like waiting, um, so we ended up going to G's Burgers in, um, Watertown. And it was good. I got a hamburger and fries. Good stuff. Their fries are amazing. So that's basically all I did. Um, I did promise yesterday that I would talk about my amazing dri my amazing driving adventures today. Um, I'm getting really distracted. I'm going to stop doing this um, because I can't think straight while I'm trying to do this. So, um, what was I saying? All right, my driving adventures from yesterday. Um, they were fun. Um, I don't know what I talked about yesterday. Like, I don't know how much I said about this because I made a video and talked, like, my head off about my driving adventures. And then it was really long, so I cut some of this stuff out. So, I don't know. Some of this stuff might be a repeat. I don't remember what I ended up posting. It's probably really dark now because I'm going into my room. So, I'm sorry if you couldn't see me, but I'm here now. Yay! My face. Um, but yeah. So I really, I really like just like driving around, um, especially um, Route 6 in like Woodbury. I know that Route 6 runs like all the way like across Connecticut and into New York partially. Um, but my section of Route 6, um, starting in Watertown and going to Woodbury and then Southbury. Um, but... I started driving there um, when I was like 16 and my mom would take me driving, um, just like practice and stuff. We would go through there and I really liked it. So even after I got my license, um, I would like drive there by myself just to get my own practice in. I felt like it would be like good to do. And then um, I started like, I'd be driving and then I would be like, oh that road looks fun. You know, let's go down that road. Um, but I wouldn't just like go down there, I'd like go back to, I'd like go back home and like Google map it and then the next time I decided to go driving I would check out that road so I knew where I was going. Um, and then it just kind of became like a hobby of mine, like driving around, listening to music, um, exploring places by myself. It sounds more pathetic than it is, like it sounds really pathetic, like oh, that's what she gets for fun, she drives around. But it was, it's really fun, like, you know, warm day, windows down, iced coffee, music, really fun. Um, but anyway, so I was kind of bored yesterday, um, and in the mood to do some driving, and there is, um, this road, um, off of Route 61 called Nanawag Road, um, and if anyone knows where the junction of Route 61 and Route 6 is, then you'll know where I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then this is gonna, you're not gonna have any idea what I'm talking about. Obviously, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're not gonna have any idea what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, so if you know where that junction is, then... Um, you can kind of picture what I'm talking about. Um, but there's a road off of 61 called Nanawag Road, and I've passed it a few times, and it always looks like a fun road to go down. But I never remembered to go home and look up where it went, but I finally remembered. So I looked it up, and, um, I found out that 
if you just keep going on that road, it ends up dropping you off on a road I've been on before, and, like, I knew where I would be. So I decided to take that. Um, I'm not sure if Nanawag, like, what town Nanawag Road is in. I think it starts in Woodbury, but it might go through Bethlehem, maybe, um, and I think it dumps you out in Watertown. I'm not sure. If anybody knows where Nanawag Road is, um, let me know. Like, leave a comment or something telling me what town it's in. Um... Because I, I really don't know, and I don't feel like looking it up. Um, but yeah, so I drove through there, and it was funny, because, like, a lot of my friends from, like, northern Connecticut, oops, sorry, I almost dropped the camera, are always saying how, like, how much of, like, a hick state Connecticut is, and, like, how, oh, it's so rural, and there's so many farms and cows, and I'm like, really? Really? Maybe for you, I live in Waterbury? Um, the closest thing to cows we have in Waterbury are the hamburgers at McDonald's. Okay, that was really bad. Wow, um, that was that was horrible. But yeah, really, that's the closest thing to cows we have. Um, oh, and we have that plastic cow on top of Mary's d Diner on Watertown Ave. That's the closest thing to a cow we have. Um, but yeah, I so I was like, yeah, I I was like, okay, maybe you know, you live in rural Connecticut. I live in Waterbury, but I saw rural Connecticut yesterday. Um, Nanawag Road is this teeny tiny little road, so narrow. Um, if anyone, um, who lives in or near Waterbury knows where Bristol Street is, um, then, like, you know how narrow that is. Um, Nanawag Road was probably narrower than that. It was so scary. Like, thankfully, no one had to, like, pass me. Like, no one was coming in the opposite direction, because I don't know if we would have been able to fit. Our mirrors probably would have, like, shook hands or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was really thin, and I kept passing all these farms with all this land, and all these cows, so many cows. Like, when I first saw the cows, it was so funny. Like, my window is open, and I'm like, cows! Moo! Moo! And I was mooing out the window at the cows, and they're probably thinking, oh my god, this stupid city girl, she's mooing at us. Um, <laughs> but then that got boring, just because there were so many cows. That didn't end. So many cows. Um, so I stopped mooing at them. And I was afraid that, like, a person was going to be out there and hear me mooing and be like, what are you doing with my cows? Like, why are you mooing at my cows? Um, but yeah, there were a lot of cows. And then, um, tractors. I got stuck behind so many tractors. I'd be, like, following a tractor who'd be going, like, 10 miles an hour. And then he'd finally turn off the road. And I'd be like, oh, good, finally he turned off. And then, two minutes later, I'd be behind another tractor. Because, you know, I'd, I would always catch up to them because they're going, like, 10 miles an hour. And I couldn't even pass them because, like, I mean, I was behind, like, three tractors. Um, one tractor I was behind literally took up both sides of the road. So there's no way I was passing. Cause it's a good thing I wasn't coming in the other direction because I don't know how I would have gotten past. Um, but, yeah, so I couldn't pass him at all. He was taking up both sides of the road. But I wasn't following him for that long um, because I turned. Um, another tractor, one tractor I saw... Um, I didn't see, I didn't know if I could pass them because, like, there weren't, I mean, there were lines in the middle of the road. There were, like, it was, like, the single yellow line, and I don't know what the single yellow line means. I guess it just means the same thing as a double yellow line, only it's not as important as a double yellow line. I don't know. But either way, I felt like I couldn't pass him, and he didn't, like, it's not even like he, like, acknowledged me. Like, he didn't even know I was behind him, because he, or at least I don't think he knew I was behind him. So I definitely didn't want to pass him. But um, the first tractor I was behind, like, pretty soon after I started, like, following him, he kind of, like, looked behind him. So, like, he saw that I was there. But he didn't make any, like, you know, motion, like, you know, okay, come around me. Or he didn't, like, pull off to the side or anything. And I thought that was kind of rude because, I mean, like, okay, he didn't have to pull off to the side. Like, I mean, if you do pull off to the side to let me pass, it's really nice. But the least he could have done was motion to me, like, you know, oh, come around me. So I figured because he didn't motion to me, I shouldn't pass him. Um, that would be really bad, especially since it was such a narrow road. And it wasn't like a straight thing where I could see cars coming. Like, I mean, I could see far enough ahead, but it was so narrow that I was just afraid I wouldn't, you know, there would be a car coming or something. But, I mean, he was going slow enough. It would have been pretty easy to get past him. But I just, I wasn't sure.